you know, the purists of the group who read my books, they want it, they, they believe it should all be read in order and so forth. But I've never really structured it that way and I've never really believed that that was particularly important. These are not serial books that one follows the next, follows the next, follows the next, like we're used to. These are historical sagas uh, which have gaps in time uh, between groups uh, and feature different characters, some from the same families, but the stories actually work independently of each other and it's about the world and about the history of the world as much as it's about anything. So uh, you can actually come into this anywhere where you're at the first book in a set of, you know, three, two, four, or maybe it's just a standalone, and it doesn't really matter because you'll get the story if you read that particular set of books. Well, it's a different animal, actually, from uh, what I've done in the past because it doesn't have a big, sweeping, epic adventure of the sort that uh, the Shannara books are known for. Um, I wanted to write something, uh, a set of books which were more personal, uh, which were more compartmentalized, uh, that involved uh, characters that uh, rubbed up against each other in numerous ways. And in Darkling Child, we bring back uh, a character who has a history uh, with uh, sh the previous books in Shannara's uh, through his, uh, well, his birth relationship, really. Um, and he has the use of the wish song, so we bring that back in for the first time. Yeah, it's a standalone because it's self-contained. It has its, it, the story has a, you know, a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it doesn't necessarily require that you read the book that came before or that you read the book that came after. So there is a resolution to the story. Well, I think, you know, it's, it's your basic story. It's your basic storytelling. Fantasy is basic storytelling. It's mythology, it's legend, uh, it's uh, a larger world than the world that we live in, but it picks up on things that are familiar to us. It talks about uh, moral responsibility. It talks about facing up to challenges that are overwhelmingly impossible and difficult, uh, but that which we must overcome. Everybody relates to that kind of story. Uh, and I think, too, so many uh, of us begin reading fantasy when we're young. Um, and for us, it's maybe the first real experience with uh, reading uh, uh, fiction of any kind. Uh, and we like it because it takes us outside of our own constrained uh, worlds uh, and lets us roam free in, 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 in alien space and, and uh, in uh, where magic is possible and where all kinds of things can happen. And even though we know it isn't necessarily true about our world, there is an element of truth all the way through fantasy in terms of how things work and how people behave and how the world at large works. I like to sit here and tell you that this, this TV show that uh, is coming out of the Shannon Brooks is due to the incredible depth of, uh, of, of character and storytelling of the author. Um, but seriously, I think it's as much luck as anything else. Uh, that's my experience with the way most of these things happen, is that you happen to be at the right place at the right time with people who are looking for something like this. Um, and so they, they get excited about it. Um, maybe some of them, in my case at least, some of them have known these books for years. Some of them have children who have known these books for years. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen some of the filming, um, and I've seen, uh, um, I've seen rushes, I've seen, uh, uh, I've seen the sets, I've seen the actors. You know, I mean, I've really seen most of it and had a chance to, to I hope, uh, uh, judge the merits of it without uh, being too prejudiced objectively. I think it's going to be wonderful. Well, uh, Elfstones uh, lends itself better to uh, a, a video, a visual uh, kind of medium than uh, the other stories. Uh, you know, it's all about demographic, it's all about who this viewing audience is going to be, it's all about bringing people in who've never, uh, maybe never seen or I mean, never read the stories before. Uh, so, uh, Elfstones is a more logical choice because it has strong male and female characters. It has a very strong love story, if somewhat unconventional. Um, and it has a really terrific ending, I think, to the book that everybody talks about when they mention this particular story. Well, they're saying Shannara. And I had that fight early on. I tell you, I've had a lot of stand-up, knockdown fights about things. And that was one of the first ones. And I said, that's not how you say it. He says, you don't. How do you say it? And I said, it's, Sh it's Shannara. And he says, nobody says it that way. And I said, well, I say it that well. And they said, well, how do your fans say it? And I said, well, they say Shannara. He says, that's it. You know, and I did long ago say to people when they asked about pronunciations, you say it the way you want to. 
Uh, everybody took me at my word, and they all say, Shannara. So, you know.